Valentine's Day is so stupid, and it's not just because I'm single this year. I was single last year too. They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine. On Valentine's Day, the babes are expecting, you know, a box of chocolate, flowers that are gonna wilt next week, and the useless stuffed animal. Well, guess what? I do Valentine's Day a little differently. The key is you gotta give them something they can actually use. Let me show you what I'm talking about. Happy Valentine's Day, babe. I got you something special. Oh, you don't have to give me anything. You got me an iron? Yeah, an iron, because girls love irons, right? Gio, that's really sexist. I don't want this. Okay, okay, before you get all upset and whatnot, I got you something else because I knew something was gonna fall through. You're so silly. I knew you wouldn't actually just give me an iron. Bread? Yeah, it's like flowers, get it? Because it's like made with flour. Gio, this is actually bread. Why would you get me bread? So you can make this guy some sandwiches. You should be showing your love and appreciation for your significant other every single day of the year, not just on some stupid made up holiday. So there you have it, that's the tea on Valentine's Day. But what's the fun in that? You know I gotta poke fun at all the stereotypical things that people do on these stupid holidays, so here you go. Now I don't know if anybody else agrees with me on this, but when Valentine's Day is coming up, I kinda feel like pressure to like be in a relationship or be like at least talking to someone because let's be real here, it's 2020, nobody's in a relationship, we're all just talking to each other. And it's like dating, What's dating? People don't date anymore. It's all about talking to someone until you waste each other's time or if you're really being serious, you move in together and adopt a fur baby. It's just like, what is love? What is love? And you're expecting this person that you're talking to but not technically dating, like they're not technically your boyfriend or girlfriend, but you're expecting them not to break your heart. And it's like, just don't hurt me. Don't hurt me. Now when I hear the words Valentine's Day, there's three things that pop into my head. If you give someone these three things, you're in the clear, you're safe, it's expected of you. Society says that this is the appropriate thing to give your significant other. Now let me just break these three things down for you, okay? We got the chocolates, all right? Now personally, I don't do the boxes of chocolate, I don't even want to try it because I feel like I've had so many bad experiences where I've been like, this doesn't even taste good. Like have you ever heard of those sayings, like the world's a box of chocolates, you never know what you're gonna get? Well guess what? You can. No, you, you, you can keep the box of chocolate. Just get me a bag of Kit Kats and I'll be on my very way. The difference between Kit Kats and the mystery box of chocolates is that the mystery box of chocolates probably costs like five times more than just a simple bag of Kit Kats. And guess what? I'm gonna be happier with the Kit Kats. And the whole stuffed animal thing, I mean, it's cute for the moment and stuff. Let's be real, that's just gonna collect dust in my room. Don't give me that. Another Valentine's Day stereotypical thing that I'm always seeing are those sweetheart candy things that have the little, like, cute messages on them that make you feel so good on the inside because Bay gave them to you. Now, these things confuse me because on the outside, they look so sweet and edible and delicious and they'll never lie to you. Look how cute their little messages are. But then when you finally eat one, they're trash, kind of like your ex. Did I say that? I mean, I'm just so sick of things looking like they're a great time, but then end up being a huge disappointment. I'm not like a hater on Valentine's Day. I just think that it's stupid that we devote one day to loving someone or to showing someone that you appreciate them. I feel like you should be giving your significant other little things, little presents, little, hey, I, I love you, I care about you. Here's a little way of me showing it. If you really cared and loved that person, you would want to do that. And if you don't feel that, then that means you probably shouldn't be with this person. I think the most special gifts are the gifts that this person knows about you. So like personally on Valentine's Day, red roses are so like, everybody does the red roses. I would want like baby pink peonies because that's like my favorite flower and if you don't know that then we probably shouldn't be together. I think the coolest thing that you could do for someone is do something from your heart. Something kind of like this. Babe wait. I know the gifts I gave you earlier were a little insensitive and kind of stupid of me. Yeah that was pretty stupid. I know I know and I, and I thought about it a lot and I, I really think that you deserve better so this is your real Valentine's Day gift. A coupon book? You promise you're actually gonna do the things that you say on these coupons if I ask you? I promise, pinky swear. Can't break one of those. A few moments later. Oh, Gio, I wanna use one of my coupons. I would like one sandwich made by you, please. I don't know how to make a sandwich. What do you mean you don't know how? You wrote it on the coupon. Uh, not really feeling it. Okay, then how about the you'll take me to dinner, but it has to be under $30. Uh, I really shouldn't be spending the money right now. Same for Animal Crossing. Okay, then how about the foot massage? That foot massage one was kind of just like a gag because I, I just, you know, everyone says they'll do a foot massage and it's just really gross. Okay, what about the one that says you'll listen to my problems because right now I'm having an issue with us. Us? Who's us? Oh, that's what karate guys do. They go, us, us, us.
Every time I think about Valentine's Day, I always think back to elementary school. I always got the SpongeBob pack. There were always those few Valentines that were like a little bit bigger. I thought I was like sly and I would like slip it to like my crush and be like, here you go. Not thinking it was obvious. Like everybody knows that the big Valentines are for like your bae. And I don't think he ever got the hint. It was also like fourth grade. I feel like guys wouldn't even get that hint now. I know I pretty much like missed my shot on everything today so far. Yeah, I'm kind of getting a little bit more heated than the iron you gave me for Valentine's Day. You gotta give me another chance. What, Gio? What could you possibly say that's gonna sweep me off my feet and make me forget about all this? I actually wrote you a poem and I really want you to hear it. It took me a while. Okay, let's hear it. Roses are red, violets are blue. Some poems rhyme, this one doesn't. You call that a poem? Romantic, right? Oh, okay, you wanna hear a poem? Here's one that I wrote. Roses are red, violets are blue. Garbage is dumped and so are you. Dumped? She thought we were dating? I thought we were just talking this whole time. Oh well, on to the next. Tinder. As much as I keep bringing up the fact that I'm single and how I don't like holidays like Valentine's Day and stuff doesn't mean that I don't believe in love. And that's something I love about Valentine's Day specifically is that all of a sudden stores start putting out like heart shaped this and like hearts all over this and this and it's just I love it because I just love love. I love love and I feel like it should just be out all the time. Like why all of a sudden we have to start thinking about love. In my opinion Valentine's Day every day. Hearts all the time. Love all the time. Candy? Okay, candy every day, but like the candy the day after Valentine's Day, so it's all marked down. That would add to the obesity problem. But that's all the tea I have for you today, happy V. Ciao, and I hope you have the most beautiful Valentine's Day ever, and remind yourself that you should love every single day, all 366 days, because it's a leap year. So you can make this guy a sandwich, which you know my favorite, peanut butter and fluff. What up, t-shirt reference? <laughs> Yeah.